we have a wonderful guest today. Please welcome to the podcast, Charlie Bardet. Hey. Um, thank you so much for having me. I think I'm going to take this one solo, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on. So you can... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You can I came all the way here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I think that's all we'll probably need from you. So, but we'll that's let you like know. That's like the announcer from like Jimmy Fallon or whatever. He has one job and it's right up top. I guess what I'm actually talking about is Steve uh, Higgins. Higgins. And he's not just the announcer. Right. He's, he's the producer. He's also the king of SNL. He's the king of SNL and the producer. So what am I talking about? Maybe the yeah, guy. Yeah, it's so true. If you if you don't have a sophisticated understanding of comedy, you think, oh, his <laughs> job is he's just like the announcer for Jimmy right. Fallon. What you don't know is that he's the king of SNL behind and, the scenes. And 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 king in kind of a derogatory way. Yes. But <laughs> yes, yes, very much In the way that kings so. can be very tricky. Right. But. <laughs> Listen. I'm coming out. So, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, we can take that out. Can you please draw that? Out? <laughs> um, but I was going to say, people love, you know, it's always like the writer is like, uh, has a cameo in the show. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So, that's funny. I have something else to say. Okay. The I dynamic. Don't know how we could move on from that so no. fast, though. <laughs> I know, I know. It's just because I had a separate I thing. I wish your hands were in your sleeves. I know, but it's too warm. Why? I need, like, the option. This is, I. I'm having a temperature thing where the temperature okay. I want to be is exactly halfway between no sweater and sweater. So I have to be in the sweater, but like have the freedom of like arms outside the sweater. Okay. It's not my problem, but it bothers me. Right, right, right. <laughs> but it's your issue. You're going to have to learn how to get over it. <laughs> it's really, it's not your problem. Right, exactly. Um, the thing of like in a show when you're in a play, the different dynamic of like God when willing. you have... Right, I mean, please, God, God willing, you're in a play. God, best case scenario, you're in a play. And I bet you some of our listeners are. And shout out to you because oh you are God. doing one of the oldest things you can do <laughs> in a play. True. And remember, do you guys remember that in Shakespeare time, when someone died in the play, they would actually kill them and they would die in real life? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what people said. Did you hear that growing up? No. That's what people said at you might school. Be thinking That's what of, they said at Schechter. They, what you might be thinking of is the boys played girls. <laughs> and that is a kind of death. <laughs> Why did the boys play girls, Charlie? Because the know. girls had to go home? Yeah, I guess so. Because it was like, boys that like get to do the fun stuff, and girls, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Um, the thing of in a play where it's like, where, like you know how it's like sometimes you're in a play and you're like, you have your one big scene in the beginning. And that's like a kind of way you can have a big role. It's like you don't have to do a lot of stuff in the whole mm. play, but then like you have one huge scene at the end. And so it's like that actor is the like... The end of the beginning. Well, I changed either it. one. Either one, where it's okay. like we just like it's concentrated, or it's like right. someone is doing stuff like you're doing. A, so stuff you can a little relax bit. backstage. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So it's just like that kind of dynamic. Yeah, of to me, I I've heard people say that before. Like mm. I like to have, like it was perfect because then I could relax right, and right. I just had my one thing. Right. But I didn't connect to that because I was wanting to be on stage. So you're like, I'll like, take as much as I can. Get. I was like, that sucks. That literally sucks. Do you like, know what I, I have? But I never did seven shows a week. I only did a couple shows on a weekend, like because right, I was in high. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. I wish I was doing that. It is funny, like, people who do high school theater, like, really do talk about it. Like, no. they're like, my past is a professional actor. <laughs> no. And then, you know what? Right. Like, it was. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, we made money. Like, <laughs> I didn't see a penny of it, but, right, like, right. there were tickets. Right. There like, were tickets being sold. Right. And, like, yes. We were working. Like, we were rehearsing. And queens were made on right. the backs of my performance. True. true. And here else, what else would I say? Mm -hmm. The responsibility was enormous. Of course. Learning the lines, remembering the choreography. It's very hard. The harmony. It's, it's, it's work, it's work. And this, everyone wants to make fun of Tech Week, but <laughs> Tech Week... People keep coming for Tech Week. No, they do. And they're like, oh, LOL, like, I can't. I have rehearsal. Like, guess what? Right. I had rehearsal. Right. I couldn't. Right. And I wish I had rehearsal now. I know. Why? No, we don't really. No. I had it when I was working on Richard's show, and that was fun. That was fun. And now, actually, by the way, I loved it. And yeah. I loved walking into a theater and being like, I know what I'm doing here oh because of Tech Week in 2012. Oh, my God. Do you know what I mean? Walking into a theater. What time did you get there? Like, well, it's like Union Hall. And it was like, no, I, what time? <laughs> no, no, but when you were rehearsing, weren't you guys, like, doing tech at Life World for a week? Yeah, that's true. It's like, we would get there, like, one. Yeah. And we were, like, one to six. One to six, like, you come in with your coffee. Right. And your casual clothes. Right. Yes. Like, you don't dress up for the theater because... You're working. You were You're wearing, working. like, like right. loose, comfy jeans. <gasps> oh, my God. It's literally amazing. Showing up to the stage door yeah. with a 
scarf and a coffee uh, and sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> need it. No, it feels so good with a notebook. I mean, also, sorry, like, the reason I know how to do, like, when I was, like, directing Richard's show, like, the reason I know how to do that is because I saw, like, in high school, like, my theater teacher do direct right. it. And the process of, like, <laughs> you do a run of something and then you, like, the whole time the director is, like, furiously right. scribbling notes and then yeah. you're like, okay. Um, in the dinner scene, we're not, we're missing the end of that line because you're turning upstage. Just make sure you deliver that out. Oh like, the mixture that. of, like, the notes go I've from, I've never like, done that. I've never given notes, like, <sighs> I've never been is, the note giver. It's amazing. Whoa. Because I'm sure you have opinions. Power trip. Right. No, it feels really good and you get to be, like, one by one and sometimes they're really small. They're, like, you, you pick the cup up, put it down, just leave it for the scene and try to hold it and then put it down, right, um, when you go back to the table later on. Perfect. And then sometimes the notes are, like, it seems like you already know when she tells you, but remember, you don't know. So you know, I feel like I don't really trust myself to, or like have the skill or have grown the skill of like um, prescribing like what needs to be fixed. Like I could tell when something's working and when something's not working, yeah, but yeah. like not what yes. needs to get it there. Though yeah. sometimes I feel like I do know. Right. And in those cases, I want to have, like, a call-in, like, hotline. Right. You want to be an assistant director. Um, I want to be a consultant. Right. right. Project to project. And sometimes I go in and I watch it. And I'm like, it's not working, but I don't know why it would right. work or how to get it there. Right. And then sometimes I want to go in and say, actually, I think I know what it is. I mean, being a director is so much about just, like, the confidence of being like, yes, yeah, someone's got to say it and it'll be me. Like, I'm, yeah. I'll be the one who, ha who has the ideas. Like, I actually think that, like, your ideas are probably as good as anyone's. Maybe. Right. But, like, like if you don't want to be the person who's, like, accountable for them. You know what I felt this way? Remember when I made that short with you and a bunch of people, Ha Birthday? Yeah. And I was, like, directing it, and I kept being, like, so I think it should be like this. And kind of, like, looking around to be, like, is that okay with everybody? And everybody right. was, like, up to you, buddy. Like, right. And it's, like, it, it feels nice to be in control, but also there's a thing where you're, like, this is scary. Like, yeah. I don't know if this is right. And part of the thing of directing is just being like, okay, I, um, I know that this is right. I know that this is what we should do. Fake it till you make it's it. It's like so fake it till you make mm -hmm. it. Ugh, I feel, I feel so, I love working in live performance. It's Seriously. like amazing. And actually, I really do feel like I was trained for it. By, by my high school theater, theater experience. experience. Literally. You know, <laughs> excuse me. I think it's like, Theater was everything to me, mm -hmm. and then I went through a period of shunning mm -hmm. and exodus, I would call it, right, right, right. because of how loserish it was, totally. and lame, right. and uncool, and not okay. Right. And now, I think I've come back, and I'm ready to say, those were the golden years <laughs> <laughs> of your professional life. Of my professional life. Yeah, that's true. I'm ready to sit in the love mm -hmm. and bask in the moment, maybe because I feel far enough from it and I yeah. and I feel like I'm I'm just ready. Yeah. And it's Tech different. week <laughs> And it's different, like we don't we haven't like stand up is theater. I think I don't I think I'm in my high school theater era of stand-up mm -hmm. in that I don't have an awareness for how loserish it is because I like it too much no, exactly. and I don't care and I'm it's sure so there'll be a point where I get interested in something else and I move on right. and I'm like I can't even talk about stand-up because I'm like I don't I'm not okay with what happened and then 10 years after that I'm gonna be like wait I love this it was this. so fun to do stand-up oh my god it, isn't it like so fun and it's so I actually feel like sometimes it's like emperors not wearing any clothes vibes of stand-up being loserish we're mm -hmm. like like it is loserish but it's like nobody really like around That's me what? acknowledges that even you know like what? cool people around uh, me i know but a lot of people yeah. actually think it's very loserish right. and they, they are uh, are being classically polite is something i've learned yes I like think that's we exactly think right. they think it's cool but yeah. actually yeah. they don't they're just yeah. not being like mean girls right, right, right. you know what that i mean is, I, and I get that vibe they're like that's so cool i would never do that right they're like so you're <laughs> doing that thing like huh but we're too honestly right in, in it, it yeah. to even understand that they're making fun of us right exactly to even understand that when they're saying like that's cool like they're being polite right like in the same way that there were people in high school who right. thought that being in theater was loserish but right. 
They're like, hell so if you, I knew. Right, like, they're I like, was so like, you have a show this weekend? It's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm exhausted, and I probably can't even take the test on Monday. <laughs> 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 Trying to, like, get out of test for tech week was, like, a huge, like, Oh, my God, right. And, like, to. teachers are all like, so you signed up for this. Right. And that's, like, what this is. Like, you like, have to manage in this. no way does this mean anything to me. Right. <laughs> the way, like, also it was, like, we were, like, young professionals and, like, I don't know. I'm I'm hearing that. Oh, really? Yeah. Like. Probably touch the microphone. Pull. Stop. Okay. Um, like. Wait, can I say something really quick? Yeah. Thing really quick? Yeah. The girl I nanny the other day was just, like, rubbing her nails into chalk. I was like, do you not have, like, an instinct? Like, just learn? Right. Like, why do you think that you could do this? Ugh. Go on. Oh, I hate that. I know. It was so weird. Maybe, I she'll, was like, maybe she'll, like, always... Because I have to imagine it's, like, what's... It's, it can't be a learned thing. What's the... Pro- is it, like, evolutionarily, like, oh, advantageous to hate the sound of nails right. on a chalkboard? Like, Wait, that's so true. Like, what's like cause that actually it's is like, exactly the sound of, like, it's a like, tiger yeah, behind Yeah, it, like, stunts nail growth, actually. <laughs> so you won't have claws. So you'll die. Right, you won't be able to pick berries as effectively. Um... <laughs> Slicing a berry off with your nail. Yeah. <laughs> like you can't do this because of how much chalk you You know those garden gloves that have a clipper in the thumb? No. The thumb of the glove uh-huh. is a is like a knife. Mm-hmm. Like a thick nail knife. Mm. And then this part mm-hmm. is a metal. Oh. So you clip a plant. Clip a you clip a zucchini or whatever. Right, right, right. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Not really. But on a technical level... On a technical level, if you, you really were. look at the notes, it's like I was definitely... Well, I mean, I have to imagine it was... Oh, just like the vibe of people being like 16 in my high school and being like coming in, having stuff like four hours like in the theater. They're like so exhausted and they're like, I have the debate tournament tomorrow and I have AP physics and I'm Juliet. And <laughs> like I, I don't know, like I'm gonna oh have to make God. it all. Oh my God! And I'm Juliet. And by the way, I'm Juliet. I Who actually, would you want to be in Romeo and Juliet? Who would you want to be in Romeo and Juliet? Well, by the way, I was in Romeo and Juliet. Who are you? Mercutio. Who's Balthazar? Yeah, not one of the main ones. <laughs> grocery store. <laughs> Basically, I well, it was in ninth grade, so I was young. You know what I mean? Okay, but that's not that young. No, it's not that young. By the way, it's like I was. Literally, like, I had one leash <laughs> in my all, like, four years of high school. You know what? That was not me. I was no. actually collecting yeah. leaves in my basket. And the thing is, yeah. that's that's part of my exile mm-hmm. and my exodus for so long right. is how much it meant to me that I was the lead. Right, right, right. That's why I had to wander in the desert for 40 years. Or, like, you know <laughs> what I mean? I think I could have came back quicker if I was in the ensemble. You were like, yeah. And I was just loving it. But right. it, like, clearly was too important to my self-esteem. Right. Oh my god. I was always like the like you know, actually like what <laughs> I remember my senior year in the Shakespeare production. Like I hadn't done Shakespeare. I did Roman Juliet in freshman year and then the Cymbeline, the Shakespeare play in twelfth grade, but I hadn't done it in tenth and eleventh. And my theater teacher who I was very close to was like came to me after auditions and she was like, Look, like a lot of the other people, a lot of the other seniors have been doing it a long time, like I kinda gotta give them roles. I'll give you a role, but it's like kind of a small one. And it's, I understand if you don't want to do it. You were a senior? Yeah, and I was like, yeah, I'll do it. And, like, I did it and, like, you know, like, did a bunch of funny bits as the role. Uh-huh. And she was like, like, she was like, <laughs> she's like, and I just want to say, like, Charlie has been standing out in this small <laughs> role. And I remember being like, that's what. <laughs> There's no small roles, only small actors. <laughs> Wait, I don't ever get that expression. Like, they mean, like, literally short actors? No. They mean, like, like small actors, like actors with who don't have big ideas. Oh, or like oh, or oh. <laughs> you really didn't get that? <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed about what I said. Which, which thing? I don't know, that it's like, that I was, I'm, I'm so proud that I, like, was funny in the small Charlie. role. Charlie. In Cymbeline and in 12. I've very much humiliated myself on this episode. Totally. And I think it's like, hello, yeah. like, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. Like, this is who we are. Like, sorry, like, what do you want us to be, like, taking drugs at the club? Like, <laughs> it's just not us. Like, right. though we do try for it now, but it's yeah. put on. You know it's what I mean? It's amazing, actually, that, like, and I can't get so into this because this stuff is personal, but, like, 
there's all this stuff that I'm doing these days where I'm like, it, which is the kind of stuff that people did when they were 21. Yeah, totally. And I'm like doing it now and I'm like loving it, having so much fun. And it's kind of amazing to be like, you can be 28 and literally be doing new things all the time. Uh-huh. Like I'm 28, basically careening towards 30, right? Like careening towards, I would say in basically a moment, I'm going to be 40, right? Right. And I'm like, I bet you I'm going to do new stuff then too. I will say, like, just hearing you from the outside, like, I'm like, you're so young. Right, 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 totally. 28, it's like... Right, so... Right, it's like, and I'm so... Right, totally. But it's like, but what you're saying is true, where it's right. like, let's get ahead of this you feeling hear, now. You do hear people who are, like, 23, be like, my life is behind me. And right. I remember sometimes feeling... And in that. a way, they're right. Right. They're, your life is behind you. <laughs> like... <laughs> well, good news. It's the first time that there's life behind you. Right, that's true. You know what I mean? Yes, so yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. what is this thing behind me? And it's like... That's life. Okay, that's life, right. by the way. Right. It's not all of it, but it's some of it, and so... Wait, that's really smart. I oh. think. I think it's, like, it's true, because you do have this sensation when you turn, like, 23, 24, and it's easy to mistake that for, like, my life, brackets, all of it is behind right. me. And it's like, no, your life is behind you, for parentheses, some of it. Right. Right? And the good news, it's like, and maybe it didn't all go how you wanted it to. And right. maybe there were things you could have done. Okay, then, news, so this is the main... to look forward to. Right. There's more. a lot of it coming up. The main right, idea. Right. So, so how fabulous So is now that? I dim so this. For people who are like and then I go over with a blue. On like a practical level, it's like you don't have more than like 10 years. Right. You know, yeah. best case scenario or whatever. Yeah. And I try and to make this a little more detailed than. It's like a crazy way to like live. The other list. one. Not yet. Because of how I ended it? No, because we, we or each only have two ideas somewhere. Because we each only Should I do have... the song of the week? Yes. Um, Belly Baton? Which I haven't done in the past few weeks. I, I have it. No, but I know what this is for this one. Okay. It's Keeping Up by Arthur Russell. Yeah, I don't know that. Really? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> how does it go? Keeping up. Keeping up. What's the vibe? Like soft rock? Yeah, like experimental, weird jazz, soft rock. It's cool. Who's Arthur Russell? He was like a gay guy musician. He died in 1990 and he was like really important in like avant music. So. Love him. <laughs> I think I would want to name my kid Arthur. Oops, am I in the right layer? After right. Arthur Russell, actually. Is really? Like connecting that, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So should I name my kid after the cat who's named after the guy? Yeah. Period. Arthur is a really good name. What's the nickname? Art? Marty. I can make oh. the pepperonis bigger, but... I don't really want to know what I'm going to name my kid. What? Celeste. Am I allowed to listen to podcasts on here? <laughs> How perfect is the name of that? It's like, you're a star, you're star stuff. Do you think that Celeste and Arthur can have a play date? Yes. Come on. I got really but emotional. Whether they get along, we won't know. I know, and that's hard. Yeah. I mean, you know the, the thing of like how my mom. So this is still rough, but I'm trying to make it more of. When she was in Jewish summer camp, you know this. More of. What? Clean lines, and then I'll go over this. Summer, Jewish summer camp together, like when they were like 11, 12, and they've been friends for literally. Wow, that's so Same cool. group of like six. With a thinner know. pencil, which would be the uh, line art at that point. One lives in DC. One lives in. Okay, in New York. Right, exactly. They're all like around. They hang out. They see each other all the time. They go on trips. It's That's like awesome. so sweetie cutie pie, and they all have like kids. Mm-hmm. Right, all of their kids are some version of gay. Not all of them, <laughs> but pretty common. Holly, pan, right. gay, queer, and bisexual. Right. And recently, I met one of them, and one of them was like. Met one of them. Yes, the kids. You hadn't met them yet. I think, like, when we were little, but he, he was, like, at, like, some gay event, and he was, like, wait, like, is your mom Claudia? And I was, like, yeah. Wait, he was, like, my what? mom is, he was, like, my mom is Lorraine. And I was, like, <gasps> your mom is Lorraine! <laughs> Holy shit. And he's, like, a gay guy, like, about town. Yeah. Are you kidding me? No. Avoiding the hands. I know, isn't that cool? Wait, you guys are going to hang out? We kind of just see each other because, like, by virtue of, like, get a drink. Be, like, being gay. Okay. Because you know what the least you could Wait, do is... Wait, I have something is? private to say that I'm going to say off mic. I'm not going to be able to get this. I'm not going to be able to mouth it to you. Okay, I understood it already. Oh, you did? Yeah. 
Did you hear it? <laughs> okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Well, I'm definitely buzzing. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm buzzing, mate. Yeah, it's cool, right? The least you could do for your mom is bury this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... I'll see what I can do. I don't know if it's like that. Charlie, he's my cousin. I'm asking you one thing. You know what I mean? He's my cousin. You can marry your cousin. Right, okay. Take it from me. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie's grandparents are cousins. No. Great grandparents. Oh, my God. Okay. Thank you. My grandma dated her cousin, but it didn't work out because he was too short. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why did I start talking about that? I don't know. It was something awesome, though. It was like about Peter and then something else I actually fully forgot why did I talk about my mom I don't know but I liked it the whatever friend? it was yeah, I know me too like, now like the Arthur face yeah cause your kid will be named Arthur right. Arthur Russell that's it oh okay good yeah we got there totally will our kid be friends well here's the thing and actually this is like why it didn't work out like that we were all friends is that like you just end up having kids at different times and so it's like when there's like a four year age difference, it's kind of only possible to become real friends. Gave him a really strong there. chin there. Yeah, totally. And that actually is what it is. Like, I think. Yeah, right. Now is the we time. We can always fix so that mom was later. The first of that group of friends had kids. Really? Everybody else. Yeah. Everybody I gave him big ears. Kids. I love big ears. A little younger. They're a lot younger, yeah. Or a little younger. Well, there's a much room for kind of age gap relationships in gay culture, I right hear. <laughs> There's no, not an issue there. Right. For, it's easy. So there you go. There's we'll no issue. Right. What is the issue? None. Okay. Now I have a song of the week. Uh-huh. And then obviously this isn't song of the week. This is Natalie's song of the week. Right. Which is like a separate, mm -hmm. distinct category. Mm -hmm. Um, Which people have different ideas about whether or not that's fair. Yeah, people say lots of crazy Because it's not Charlie's song of the week and Natalie's song of the week. It's song of the week and Natalie's song of the week. That's right. Which... Yeah, I think some people think that maybe that's not even fair. That's so interesting. I haven't... I mean, so, but people say, like, all kinds of crazy stuff. Do you know what I mean? So it's hard to, yeah. like, know what to really right. take seriously. Yeah. And just because in the media climate. Right. <laughs> I think there's some very interesting, though, like, pretty unbiased sources <laughs> that have been saying that. But I don't know. Judges and stuff like that? Like, judges in the court? Yeah. No, not judges oh, in the court. Oh, so... What did judges come up last night? What was last night? Oh, I was watching the Beckham documentary. Sure, sure. And they were talking about how everyone, they were like, everyone in Spain was at the conference when David Beckham came to mm -hmm. Real Madrid. Like, mm -hmm. celebrities, like, politicians, judges. I said, <laughs> judges. <laughs> judges in their, like, clothes. And in their robes. I'm like, judges don't go to, like, outings. They're, like, running the Events, going like, running. a judge on, like, the step and repeat. Do you want it to be Charlie's Song of the Week and Natalie's Song of no, the Week? No, 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 no. I don't have stake in the game. I just... It's interesting that people are saying Yeah, I just thought it's kind of podcast. I, I haven't been, like, ear to the ground on that issue, really, so I'll, like... I'll send you some stuff. Yeah, I'll be on the lookout if people yeah. are saying... People are wanting it to maybe be, like, Charlie's Song of the Week, Natalie's Song of the Week. I don't know what they want. Right, but they're just noting that there's, like, an inequality. Yeah. That's so interesting. So my so Natalie's song of the week <laughs> is "One Last Time" by Ariana Grande. Totally, that was really close in the running for song of the week. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. So the reason it's the song of the week is because I was listening to it the other day, and I've heard the song maybe that a thousand bad. times. This is before that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and I've sung along to it maybe a hundred times. Uh huh. Not that many. Mm -hmm. Maybe cut all that in half. Mm -hmm. But. I was, you know, um, Spotify has the thing where you can look at the lyrics, mm -hmm. and I was just like, what are the lyrics again? And I looked at the lyrics, and they shocked me, stunned me to my core, because mm -hmm. the story that she's telling, first of all, it's very not Ariana writing. Mm -hmm. Like, her writing is a little less specific than the story of this song, right. which is actually a story about, uh, she cheated on her boyfriend, mm -hmm. and he moved on, now he's with a new girl, and he's happy. And she's saying, like, I know I fucked up. I know you're happy with this other girl, but will you just, like, sleep with me one more time? And, like, you don't have to actually be into it even. Mm -hmm. I just kind of need this. Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. I didn't know it was about that. And I didn't know it was so complicated. Yeah. And so, yeah. Can I say something off mic? Did we beat that? <laughs> yeah. All right. I thought you were going to say, I like that. Oh, you oh, said. oh, oh, oh. Can you say that on mic? Yes. 
I like what you said. <laughs> Did I deliver that well? Did, like, you yeah, it was very believable. Yeah. Did you mean it? Yes. Because you said it so truthfully. Yeah. So it was easy to. There's that access. acting in you. Yeah. Being a really small easy. part. It's like I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I like that. Um, Do you need that again? I think he made his <laughs> eyes too okay, small. Are you doing it again? Just tell me. Oh, so we're still rolling. Can okay. I just sing the beginning of it to just go through the words? Let me just get one more take in and then we'll okay. do it. Oh, I like that. That you know was less true. That was less true. Yeah. Can I do give it one more? Yeah. Can you give me the line? Just the end of it. Um. So that's the song. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that was good. It was the, the first one was the best. The first one was the best one. But we'll that's just, fine. We have the first one. Right. We got the first one. Okay. So here's how the song starts. There's a plan. Um. Gosh, how does it start? Why do podcasters always say that? We can't hear the plane. We can't hear the ambulance. No. I was a liar. I gave in to the fire. I know I shouldn't. Crawled it. I know I shouldn't have done it. But you know I'm a liar. So she's asked her about cheating. Right. And I know and I know and I know she gave you everything. Yeah, yeah. But you're not saying the words really. Cool, and then I can erase, not erase, but just take that away. So we have that. So now that I have the blue outline, I'm going to do... I'll wait till they're done singing. I don't really know Ariana. Oh, I didn't do the neck. I thought it was hurt. It's not hurt. No, it's hurt. It's her. Her in your heart. Right. Oops. Charlie, you know all the words. I know the song very well. You're fantastic. Thank you. I thought you were humoring me. No, no, I love the song. I think it's great. Fantastic. <laughs> Wake up in, and then later in the second chorus, it goes, Wake up in my arms. Okay. One last time. Beautiful. Hey, hey. So here's what's so scary. Is I had made this realization. I was so excited about it. And then. It was okay, so, so that is that. Should just do this just for fun. I want to play one last time Boop. the lyric video so you guys could hear the lyrics to know what it's about because it's so crazy. And everyone's like, let's watch the music video. We put on the music video. I'm like, okay, fine. You'll still like get the words from it. Right. The music video, the story with it the music video base. is totally a different story. Oh, really that is a crooked face. Generally where I'm like, the music video should be two things. And this really is where the story of the song we use Facetune. And wonderful I, and hopefully a little combo right please please a little combo and it can be like moody like but often i'm like the images don't match up with the story i know or like it's what like, the song is about it's like ariana grande is like there's like a an it's like an emergency invasion. yeah yeah no one was gonna like, tell me this like, face is that crooked like, she's like, running through a cityscape that's kind of like traffic abandoned buildings right bombs people are hurt but and i was going on and on about how it didn't <laughs> fit and then daniel Liu was like yeah but you can see how like it, it is like a metaphoric fit for like yeah. the feeling of like yeah. there's only one last time right. and i was like okay he's actually like really smart no i mean to that's the idea of it right is it's like okay the world is ending but, I but want that's to. a different song that's that song that goes <sighs> if the world is ending no more no and if the world is ending you come over right remember that one i was gonna freak you. yeah you do okay no no you do. Yeah. What do you want? Cool. Close enough. Maybe we should do our list. Yeah. Um, let's, let's exchange lists. So for those who haven't listened, it's by your opinion. Is anyone not listening to the show? Yeah. All right. Basically in the show, so that was and that is why you should always so flip your canvas. Like that will, ideas. that looked we're wild. <laughs> This peck is supposed to be lower though because this arm is up, so this one will be a little more Life is perky. Too short for doll sex. And according to our in house and self sustained boobs, that's. Code Exploration Live at Mojo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a little different than what you did. <laughs> there's, there's, you got every consonant correct. Yes. 
Yeah. Okay, great. You hit the vowels. You hit those hallmarks, and the only place I would make some edits <laughs> is the vowels between the consonants. The vowels between. Could, I think. But the, any French word. The okay, so now that we're on the blue layer, so we have word, the like red layer. Blue yeah. layer. Lingerie. Like, I'm sorry, what's like lingerie? Yeah. Like, you were pretty, you, you know. Yeah. Well, we can do I had an accent over the E, which is maybe like. The final one layer. The, one of the vowels you got right. Oops. <laughs> one? Yeah. Out of how many? Oh my gosh. Well, there's three areas where there's vowels. <laughs> yeah. And one out of the three you got right. Oh, one area. One Dim area. That. Vowels are in that area. One. One. Yeah. So, so one. So back to one. Because yeah, one out of the... And then the last, it's like, it's, you know. Yeah. Should I be more, should I be more specific? No, no, I, I think you said everything. Right. So this is basically the store right near here. Uh-huh. The other week I was walking here. Black. The studio and there's a store. Uh-huh. Then I go to and Technical Pen. I like and number seven on Technical like Pen. Like better Italian lingerie. Uh-huh. With this picture of J-Lo. Mm-hmm. And I saw that and read it in my head, and I was like, and then we do the final like, line art. The music and like kind of like wow. Dance, whatever. And I was like, that's probably even on the right fucking layer. true. Right. And guess what? I have no idea. <laughs> and it really honestly was super effective because I was like, you might just be right about that. <laughs> like, I cannot right. say no to that. There's a lot I can say no to in terms of advertising. advertising. Like, I want to give them. Like, start your day with a yogurt. I'm like. I don't want to yeah, give them. Actually, I don't like to start wild with abs. Abs. Too sweet or whatever. Right. But like, life We're just gonna better. do suggested like, abs. I'm like, that's very, very possibly true. It might, you might just be right. Yeah. On that one. Right. Uh, there's something like, like. There's like something a little scary about how like a product can change your life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Where you're like. And, like, a product will make a claim where it's, like, trust us, like, yeah. you need this blender. And you're right. like, but I already have a blender, and you get that blender, you're like, it actually just so happened that that <laughs> blender changed, changed everything. Life. Like, totally. Like, I actually drink a lot more smoothies now. Totally. Because it's easier to clean. And yeah. so I just, like, make the decision to make more, and it is, my life is just better for it. It's the, it's the best idea in the world, and it's the worst idea in the world. Mm-hmm. Because it's, like, you know... Give me a sentence that will make me happy when I'm sad and sad when I'm happy. Mm-hmm. This one changes. It's like the, the this two-shell test. Right. But, but it's actually like th- this Wait, product can will I change try, your life. Can I try one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sentence that will make you sad. Give me a sentence that will make you happy when you're sad and sad when you're happy. Oh, shoot. I don't think I can do it. What were you going to say? I was going to do like give me a sentence that will make me happy and sad. Mm-hmm. And I was going to do them in order. So it's like I have ice cream. Oh, shoot, we're out. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, wait. I, give me a sentence that will make you happy, then sad, then happy. That's, like, not what it is yeah, at yeah. <laughs> Happy, then sad, then happy. Do you want some ice cream? Oh, shoot, we're out. Actually, never mind. I, mind, I just found some. Like, sure. <laughs> it's a slightly different task. So give me a sentence that will make me happy, and then lonely, and then hungry. Right. Oh, the party's about to start. Nobody came. Well, we're out of food. <laughs> I want to do another. Okay. Give me a sentence that will make you wonder why your brother isn't texting you back. <laughs> and then curious. You like can't hard. do it. <laughs> <laughs> I shot too hard there. That one is that one I can You literally stumped yourself. I know. Like you were like <laughs> There's no like, such <laughs> sentence. Like, it can't be done. <laughs> you that makes you wonder why your brother is texting you back. It's like, um... And then, curious? <laughs> like, you just said wonder. Like, right. How is it going to be different? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's like, hold on. Why are... It, the first one is hard. Like, wonder why your brother isn't texting you back. Like, a sentence wouldn't make you wonder that. <laughs> Maybe it would be like, oh, he hasn't texted. Right. Oh, he just said, I'm on a plane. Right. It would be like... Where is he flying? It would be like, oh, he just told... He just texted me back. Has he not texted you back yet? Mm. What's un- What just ran under the car? <laughs> <laughs> That's curiosity. That's Wait, exactly. Look at my socks look like the special shoes that yeah, I they like do. right now. Yeah, but let's not lose track of the right. other thing. Sure, 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 sure. Do you want to try one? Do you want to come up with one that we can maybe I knock out like of the park? I feel like I've honestly done like a hundred of them, and <laughs> none of them like me did what I wanted them to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as the original one I want to get back to is yeah. give me a sentence that will make me happy when I'm sad and sad when I'm happy is this product changed my life. Because 
because it's like the idea is so amazing. Yeah. But then it's like the fact of it means you're on this never ending search for And what are all the things that haven't changed your life? And actually it's like it's true. Like like your life can be changed by these small things and Right, but it doesn't really work. Wait, but it kind of does, actually. It does, but it's like, when you're sad, someone says, this product changed my life. No, it doesn't hit that, right? But it does have the same, like, double-sidedness, like... It's both good and bad. It's both good and bad. I, we but that's this what's so with, like... special about that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Like, you just made the angriest face <laughs> ever. <laughs> Never seen your face do what it just did. So so angry. It was, it was so angry, but it wasn't like as a joke. It was just like pure like. Well, we talked about this in like the life hack problem. Yes. That it's like totally. a life hack. It's like it's amazing when it works, but it's it's scary because you like you're right. like fuck. Like I want my I'm life. Always to be avoiding hacked, the hands. I know my life is hackable. Mm -hmm. Like I know there's a million things I should be doing to right. hack my life, and actually like. That's not the right way. You have to just be like, I'm grateful for any life hack that comes my way that I'm able to implement. And I like, think these okay hands are just getting worse and worse with each layer. Like, I just have to layer. make peace with the fact that like, I don't have an ideally organized closet. Show me the unconscious life hack that has now become standard <laughs> <Just> practice. <laughs> Show me the life hack. Oh, fuck, that's cool. All right, let me do yours. I folded it in such a way. Yeah, well, it'll be... Do uh, you need me to vamp while you unfold it? No. Show me the life hack. I feel like I may have made... Goodbye, Erica. Okay, so this is the thing... These are of, the knuckles. Um, did you guys know that song by Erica Badu called I've Been Going Through It All? We're just going to stick with that. It's really good. and I, I really I'm not despise doing it hands. one of those songs that's not on Spotify. Uh, I don't know where I heard it, from. I don't know how it came into my life, like, because it's not on Spotify. It's just, like, one of those things. I remember I listened to it a lot, like, senior year of college. It's mm. really fun. That was kind of pre, like, Spotify. So here's... Like, in college, like, I was using Pandora radio. Right. I can't relate to that personally. Because you're a bit younger. Yeah. I was using Spotify. But I started using Spotify. But also in college, people were sending me songs. On iTunes. You had to gain the upper hand here, didn't you? <laughs> no, I was just more Yeah, saying. I had to send my own self songs. No, so. I was more saying, like, that's maybe how you found it. Right, right. right. Even yes, though it's not certainly. on Spotify. Yes, certainly. I did not find... People are always like, where do you find... Bragging. I'm People are always like, where do you find music? I'm like, well, when my friend Patrick posts something on his Instagram story, I listen to it, and usually I like it. <laughs> Totally. So that's kind of where I get it. Yeah. Actually, when people post songs on their Instagram story, often I'm like, let me check this out. Me too. And it's like, great. I loved it. Yeah. So this song is really good, and I just like had, I don't know how it came back into my head, but it just did. Like last week, I was like, oh my god, that Erica Badu song, and I have not listened to it really since like senior year of college. Mm -hmm. And I just started listening to it again, and I have it open as a tab, and I like, but that's the only way I have to On listen YouTube? to it. Yeah, because it's just not part of my like yeah, music. Yeah. I listen to music on like Spotify for better mm -hmm. or worse, right? And <laughs> sometimes on vinyl. <laughs> Um, but so it's not in my rotation and I know that at a certain point I'm going to have to like close the tab. Like right. I can't have a tab open just to be like when I want to listen to this one song, right? Right, right. And how do you remember? And I, do, I won't. It. And so it's this thing where I'm like. Well, maybe you need to get the record. I don't think it's on vinyl. It's on like album. that. Because it's like, it's not even on spot. It's not like, it's like just a one-off song she kind of released. It's not from an album? No. I'm going to find it for you. Thank you. I mean, that'd be a good gift. That would be a good gift. But, and even not that. Not better than a light up pen though. Really, now they got me a light up pen because I don't have my phone by my bed, so I have to I keep notebooks by my bed when I have ideas at night and I don't want to turn on my light. It's a, and I use it. Um, <laughs> you? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. um, but now it's like I'm when I close that tab, it's like until we meet again, like until right. this song <clears throat> comes back into my life somehow. Like I trust yeah. that this song will occur to me again, yeah. will find me again. Right. Beautiful. Right. Because. I would love to have it, and this is the thing I actually find with Spotify generally that happens. Where Horrible. Like, I don't like the way you can't sort by artists, or like, it doesn't, it's not so intuitive to do that. They really want it to be playlist forward. Like this and so lapse. this also happens with like, sometimes I'll scroll back to the playlist mm -hmm. I made like five years ago, and I'm like, oh my god, I forgot about this song. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Big lips. So there is a lot of just like, 
finding things again, and I do try to keep track of everything and grids and lists and whatever. Yeah, but you do. I was gonna say, like, I feel like you probably have a note on your phone that's like, stuff I love. Yes. Go on that list. No, because I don't have one for songs. And if I don't keep that list updated regularly, it's never gonna happen. I remember when we were first becoming friends. You showed me we were going through your notes app, mm -hmm. and you had a list of like people you wanted to hang out with, and I was on it. And yeah. we were hanging out. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, yeah. it's happening. And you were like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is how it happened. I actually feel, I, I once showed that to a friend and they were like, you should not tell people about this. Oh, right. Why? Because it's a little embarrassing. Oh, yeah. But actually, I'm just like, I really forget. And it's not like. No, I don't know. I, I agree with that. Like, I, I get why maybe it's private. Maybe we'll take this out. No, because no, I don't it care feels about. like there's maybe a part of it that's like, it's like calculated. Like, yes. it should just be more natural. But right. I do think that when you're kind of lonely or bored or something yeah you, sometimes you forget about it's helpful to be like who to. are my people that yeah. i like and often there are people where you're like right like i'm not just running into you all the time yeah. i actually have to make an active effort to reach out to you but i really love our friendship and relationship and like you know i don't think it's wrong to be yeah. like active and deliberate right i don't think it's wrong to be active and deliberate me neither thank you um anything else about this um why did it say goodbye? Oh, because when you close the tab, it'll when I close goodbye. the tab, it's time. That could have been my song of the week. Maybe I should have. And actually, I should. I'm always so tempted to just copy and paste and plop it over. It all. Right. And you know something I like about the song? What? If I can speak on it for a little. Something I really love about Erica Badu. <laughs> that was generally in a lot of her music because she's really funny. Mm. She's doing little jokes. You know mm. what I mean? And I love when I love when stuff is funny. Yeah. You know who else I like? who does that who i don't oh. think gets a lot of credit for it no. is robin i think a lot of rob i think a lot of robin songs are actively fun. that was why like what? she has this song um called don't tell me what to do or mm -hmm. don't fucking tell me what to do and the whole song the first like two-thirds of it is her just going my drinking is so killing much. me my drinking is killing me and then she just get me banned and other stuff. so she's like my feet are killing me my landlord's killing me my label is killing me these hours are killing me and then the last like third of the song there's like a drop and she goes don't fucking tell me what to do but it's just like really funny huh. it's like like it's like she's just like kind of putting it's just like cheeky. there's like it's like cheeky it's a little playful mm -hmm. and it's like fun and boppy and it's not like funny in the way we'll of like a weird this. Al song or like a parody song where it's like right. oh there's actively like you're subverting the thing it's like the humor's really integrated into the product mm -hmm. it's like you know what i mean totally that's cool it's like the humor's not cutting against right the sometimes I feel that I'm you know what? we'll get back to that. I'm like, this is funny. Totally. I, all the time. Funny. Well this is like the art show we I did with like oh, Carolina right. Marissa yeah. was like kind of exactly that idea of like often you go to museums, you're like, so they were making a joke, by the way. Like yeah, this is a funny this is sculpture. LOL, yeah. Like I'm literally laughing. Especially sculpture <laughs> because right. anything that's like no. unserious being sculpted is so crazy because it's the most serious. Mm -hmm. Right, you're Medium, like, you made like it. it's yeah. like stone. Right, right, right. And you're like, you made it like someone, like. You know, we're gonna stick with that for now. Whole, like, we'll, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so I like Eric. We'll use liquefy. That That's awesome. Later. I'll yeah. take a listen. Yeah. Uh, should but I do like where? Time? Like on YouTube? Right. It's fun to yeah. listen to a song on YouTube. Okay. It's cool. I mean, that's like people who really I'm just listen liquefy to music now. Like, they're like, yeah, it's only on SoundCloud. I'm like, oh my god. Hmm, what now? You are so sophisticated. Yeah, that is. Oh, you know what else is a good song that Patrick showed me? What? That was, was on YouTube, and now I think it's only on SoundCloud. Uh, this is gonna be like I don't need to say this, but Can now I have to. Put it in the show now. Too. It's it's a mashup of Flim by Aphex Twin and One Last Time by Ariana Grande. Oh my God! And it's seriously really good. That's relevant. <laughs> it is relevant, exactly. So I'm oh glad God. I spoke up. Yeah. Okay, this is your next idea. Mm. Say what you want first. Totally. <laughs> I think I know what you're gonna say. You know, I just heard it and it has a new meaning now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Like, originally I was thinking, like, my boss has this thing where she'll ask me a question mm -hmm. and. That's not that bad. Says, like, why she wants to know. Mm. And it, like, drives me crazy because I'm like, guess what? Like, the answer is completely dependent on what you want out of me. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, she'll be like, they don't have to match exactly. Yes. But or like, are you taking the train home? No. Or right. Like, right. And it's like, okay, it, she's asking me like, are you taking the train home or like, did you bike here? Right. And it could be like, 
oh, because I have a bunch of bagels and right. I wanted to give them to you, but like, if you're taking the, if you're, if you're bike, biking, it's not whatever. Or it could be like, can you drop this off for me right. at this right. at the FedEx when right. you leave or whatever? Right. And I'm like, I actually could do either. Right. I can always do either, right. basically. Right. And so I'm gonna decide based on what the thing is. Totally. You know. Yeah. And I feel like. Even with, like, are you free tonight or, like, yes, whatever. I mean, now, like, what are you doing tonight? I feel like the implication is, like, let's hang out. Right. But, like, I just feel like it's always cool to, like, say why you're asking the question before yes. you make someone just give you an answer. Like, what are you, the police? Like, well, especially I'm when on it's like trial here? Like, I just have to answer all your effing questions? You know, it does put you in this position where you're like, you're like I don't like to feel like this where I'm, like, calculating, too. Like, where people are like... Are you free tonight? Mm -hmm. And you're like, right, depends. It's like it depends. Yeah. It's like I have like a tentative plan to right. do this thing, maybe with this person I haven't confirmed yet. Right. But do you have maybe two tickets to an amazing screening? Right. Like, right. yeah, then I would love to go to that. Right. But otherwise, like, I'm not gonna bump my other friend that I have tentative plans with. Right. To like. Yeah, I guess with the boss, it's like it feels totally fine to be calculated. Yes, that and you're so in like. In that case, fully. I'm like. Just tell me, like, yes, what we're getting at here. Right. And there's also something really kind of scary about being asked a question point blank, like, about yeah. your life right. by a boss. Right. And it's just like... You're like, I'm in trouble. She's like, did yeah. you bike here? It's like, yeah. You're, she's right. like, I told you Why not to. Why is it too late? Yeah, she's like, really? Because the bike just ran over my car outside. <laughs> <laughs> so could that be related at all? She's like, is that your bike? Is the one, like, smashed into her car through the is window? Is that your bike that just stomped on my kid? <laughs> oh, that's not funny. Happen. It's not even true at all. Right. You wouldn't do that. Um, no, you're right. Say what you want first. I mean, that's so classic where it's like, let me know, let me know. Yeah. But I had like a different, my read on this, I think, although it's related, is the thing of like, if you have a preference yeah, when you're right. asking a question of someone, then it's of, like, like, what say do you want for dinner? Right. Or what like, do you want for dinner? Yeah. Like, I'm thinking this, but I'm, Yeah. it's so true. I don't want to have to do it like, thinner. Honest. Like, and actually, like, don't be so afraid of, like, small disagreements. Yeah. Like, maybe you want sushi, and that's okay, and the other person had it two nights ago and doesn't want it. Totally. And you're like, you actually can manage that. Right. But let's just, like, Get that out on the, on the table. table with, like, this kind of thing. Remember I tried to say one time that thing in, like, academia where, like, I don't remember what it's called, but, like, there's a thing at the beginning of, like, an, if you write, like, an academic paper. An abstract? No. Oh. <laughs> but thank you. Oh. But... It's like the abstract like summarizes what it's about, right? But then this is when it starts. This is like before the you get into the actual thing of it. Your, your heart. Yeah, I'm your heart wondering goes how I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> but you're just like so struck by what I'm saying. Like, oh my god. <laughs> <gosh. laughs> Charlie just put his hand over his heart, like, oh. There's a thing before where you're supposed to say like what your stake in the game is. Like if you're writing a paper yes. about like disclosures Ukraine or whatever, you would be like, Okay, this is where my family's from. This is why I got interested in this. Like, right. blah, blah, blah. Right. So that it's not just like, okay, who are you? Right. And it's like, that's what you should have to do for everything, basically, right. that right. you do in your life. And, but the thing that you said when you, the thing I thought when you read my idea, the, the new idea that I thought of, is the same thing of what you're saying, actually. Oh. But specifically, there was a time in my life where, like, all of the, like, girls that I was friends with, like, in college, mm -hmm. and, like, a little bit post-college, like, everyone was having this conversation over hours. and over again with let's take away the mustache for a sec time. No, just to get gay, the nose right but it was like what are we right like we need to have a conversation like what are we right and then the conversation would always be so weird and like right. disappointing and like oh what gosh, are we like totally. yeah i don't know i'm not sure and it's like okay like he didn't really have an answer and like at a certain point i was like wait a minute like the reason you're disappointed is because he's not saying he wants something that it's different from what you want, but you never said. You never said. Like you're like actually wanting him to initiate and be like, "I want to date. I want to be exclusive." Right. And, and like, really, what it has to be is like you come in being like, "I want. I want to date. Yeah. Like, what do you want?" Right. 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 But it, instead, it's like, "What are we?" Like, with like an edge of like, we don't even know what we are. Like, right, right, what? Right. What even are we? That's so true. I don't. Want, I wonder if the kids are still doing what are we? Yeah. I feel like they're more self possessed now or something. But there I was saw a funny tweet. Yeah. That was someone like my little cut my 12 year old cousin's breakup goes so hard and it's like a screenshot of like this 12 year old girl and, and she's like she's like idk i just feel like 
we've only been seeing each other a week and we shouldn't be saying all this stuff like I miss you and I need you and <laughs> the other person is like yeah, I'm sorry, like, I just had a lot of sugar, and so I was really, really like, <laughs> I was being, like, really crazy. <laughs> that's so cute. You know, I was like, that's so sweet. You're so right that it's, like, you have to go in with, like, and actually that's vulnerable, that. too, right? Like, of being, like, I want to be exclusive. Yeah, exactly. Or and I want to be, like, no one ever did it. Right, because it means someone might be, like, I don't want that. And then, therefore... Yeah. And now we flip the canvas one more I just time. Define it. Right. I, I just don't know what we are. What are and we, we can make and little like, adjustments. That's not, what, that's not what you want. That's not what you want. Right. You want to define it in this specific way. Right. Which is actually like an act of choice and not like a neutral description. Right. Right. What are we? It's like, well, we're just and looking up. And probably part of it is like, okay, it was all these girls who were like, yeah, what are we? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you probably did want to date but only in the sense I think the hair didn't. looks really whack and if you had to really think about what you wanted you probably didn't either yeah that it's actually like a fear of like like being abandoned a little bit or like you want the commitment so that you can then make a choice so that that's interesting is you that what I'm saying that yeah a little bit like well I don't know I'm just thinking about how it was like all these girls with these like stupid effing guys yeah <laughs> like really right <laughs> That was obviously, like, specific. Oh, I have yeah. an idea for a Patreon episode. I think you said this, but we should do an advice one. Sure. Okay. Yes. So, submit your we're, ideas. We're going to post that on the Patreon. By the way, we have a Patreon. Yes. And we do two episodes, a two original Just Us episodes with different concepts a month, and the live shows we post there. We haven't promoted it in a while. So it's three a month. It's three a month. It's three two a month. Yeah. of us just talking alone, yeah. and then one live show, right? Yeah. We had we did one, like, a few days ago, and it was so fun. Yeah, it was really fun. The theme was fun facts, yeah. and we each brought in really fun facts that we knew. Yeah, and mostly we ended up talking about our personal lives. No. no. <laughs> Is that true? No, but we talked a little bit about... Oh, yeah. Well, I had life, like, a bunch. Yeah. What? And you know what? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, anyway, that's oh, our Patreon. I don't think yeah. I had so life. Wait, wait, wait. There was, you had more to say. I think there was something interesting. I just interrupted No way, bro. So. No, no. It was something interesting no, about... No, I'm telling you. Wait, but... It's not bad. It's okay. good. Okay. It's but you were saying the thing about, like, about, like, not wanting... I'm just, like, was curious about it. It was, like... Not wanting... Like, I think half the time when I was hooking up with a guy and I was, like... Feeling frustrated that you were... And I was, like, what are we? Mm -hmm. Having that feeling? Yeah. I'm, like, have I ever had this experience? Right. Basically, no. Right. But part of being dissatisfied with, like, not having an answer from the other person is kind of, like, the thing is not so satisfying. And... Oh. Totally. Because you're not getting a thing from them of, like let's date you're like okay so it sucks because it's like it's neither here nor there mm -hmm. and if you if it really was just up to you you might and the sense. other person was totally on board right. you might not want to do it right that's the thing i feel like is like so much of like life for me up for until two. like a year ago no. basically was being like I don't know if I can have this thing, so I need to get it. Yeah. And then getting it and being like, I didn't even think about if I wanted it or not. Yeah, I, I was talking about this with someone this summer. Like, there's a lot of stuff where, like, I became really fixated on having certain kinds of experiences because I was like, I don't like that the reason I don't do it is because I feel like I can't. And I want to know about it. I want to do it so I, I can decide if that I like is it. the yeah. gist and of it. For a while, I was kind of problematizing that, like where I was like, "Do I want this or do I want to want this?" Mm -hmm. And then actually, what ended up happening was like I did a lot of those. Okay, things, so that was, was that. That this is it. a process that I do I like, not oh, like I showing. Like and, some of them I was like, I don't. Um, and I actually felt but it is like, an important process. Yeah, was, That's like, why I turned the comments off and went on my backup page to do this. That does not come to me naturally. Because I have to be more might, focused like, through this people, process, and it kind of breaks my heart when people oh, say that, like, that I trace. So I just wanted to show this uninterrupted. Let me show the layers. 
that's the original layer. Then we did the blue layer, and then we then and then we did the black layer. And this is where I do the drag and drop, and then paint from there. But this process is not fun for me, so I don't really like showing it. But thank you for tuning in, whoever is here. I love you. I am gonna upload this to my YouTube still, but hopefully this fell more on like no one saw this. I love you guys. Stay chic, stay glam. Maybe I'll do these more on my little backup page. But thanks for the likes. I'm not sure who's here. I love you. And I'll work on this. I'll paint this on my normal channel. Bye-bye.